Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. The Deputy King, His Majesty, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received Sir Arthur Nicholas Winston Suims at Qurabiya Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Deputy King highlighted that the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom continue to deepen their historic bilateral ties and cooperation across all fields with the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness went on to stress that the broad ranging relationship spans across many sectors and yields benefits for both countries and their peoples. For his part, Sir Arthur expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet the Deputy King and noted His Royal Highness's continued support to bolstering Bahrain-UK relations. The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received Egypt's Minister of Trade and Industry, Dr. Naveen Gama, at Qurabiya Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Deputy King highlighted the strength of Bahrain Egypt ties, which continue to receive the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince welcomed Dr. Gama's visit to the kingdom and noted the importance of official bilateral visits in further advancing cooperation across across trade, commerce and tourism, emphasizing their role in providing opportunities that benefit both countries. For her part, Dr. Gama expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Deputy King, noting His Royal Highness's continued support to bolstering bilateral relations. She also highlighted the importance of further strengthening bilateral trade ties and investments to benefit both countries and their citizens. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Rashid Al Zayani, attended the meeting. The BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received the Chairman of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee at the Council of Representatives, MP Mohammed Al Sisi Al Bu'inayn, and the committee members. In the presence of the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Nuaimi, and BDF's Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Dia bin Saqar Al Nuaimi. The Commander in Chief welcomed MP Al Bu'inayn and the committee members and discussed with them the aspects of cooperation and coordination between the BDF and the Council of Representatives. He hailed the efforts of the Council members in the advancement of the country and the service provided to citizens and residents. The meeting was attended by Director of the BDF General Command HQ, Major General Hassan Mohammed Saad, the Chief of Military Judiciary and Cassation Court President, Major General Dr. Yusuf Rashid Flaifel, and a number of senior BDF officers. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of African Cooperation and Moroccans residing abroad, Nasser Barita, in Morocco. The Moroccan minister welcomed Sheikh Khalid and stressed the strength of the close brotherly relations between the two countries and their continuous joint coordination towards Arab, regional, and international issues. He expressed his appreciation for the solid stances and Bahrain's support to Morocco, highlighting its important role in establishing security and stability in the region. The foreign minister expressed Bahrain's pride in the deep historical brotherly relations with Morocco, which are based on a long history and a constant desire to move in various fields of bilateral cooperation to broader horizons in light of the great attention these relations receive from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Mohammed VI. During the meeting, they discussed the most important developments in the region. In statements to the media after the meeting, Sheikh Khalid stressed the kingdom's solid position and support for Morocco and its initiative for autonomy. In the Moroccan Sahara within the framework of Moroccan sovereignty, the unity of Moroccan soil and according to international legitimacy, he praised the historical role played by Morocco in advocating and defending Arab and Islamic issues in international forums and its constructive and tangible contributions in supportive efforts aimed at establishing peace and stability in addition to promoting development and progress in the African continent. Nasser Barita said that this meeting falls within the framework of continuous communication and consultation between the two brotherly countries on bilateral and regional issues, stressing the comfortability of two countries' views on these issues and the solidarity of Morocco with Bahrain on all issues. 
Under the patronage of the Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed Al Saleh, today opens Bahrain, the first edition of the International Pediatric Hematology Conference 2020, organized by the Ministry of Health and the Pediatric Department at Salmania Medical Complex. More in this report. The International Pediatric Hematology Conference 2020 discusses the recent approaches, advancements, and challenges relevant to pediatric hematology. It creates a comprehensive intellectual and operational environment for acquisition of knowledge, skills, clinical judgments, and attitudes essential for clinical practice. We want to share the experience, our experience, and we want to uh, update ourselves to the uh, up-to-date uh, knowledge and information in like U.S. and the U Europe, and also in our uh, neighbors' uh, countries like Saudi, Oman, and other con countries, and also to share our experience and show that we, we stand, we uh, achieved good level of care. We have... Uh, comprehensive programs for thalassemia, for sickle cell disease and hemophilia. And our patients and our outcome is matching the international standard. The scientific program provides a multidisciplinary approach to the assessment, diagnosis and treatment strategies to pediatric blood diseases management, presented by leading-edge international, regional and local experts who show the most recent data and give their valuable opinion on the clinical applications. The important thing is to be able to share the advances in the field amongst uh, the colleagues, amongst ourselves, um, and also to be able to learn from each other. Um, there is a lot of experiences uh, across the various uh, countries uh, from which we can draw. I mean, Bahrain on its own, um, in the data that was presented earlier on on sickle cell, it's fascinating. It's a lot that uh, it can teach uh, most of us. Real blood disease is very high in the Gulf countries and uh, uh, so the conference is very important because it enrich and enhance the knowledge of the healthcare professionals about how to manage and what is uh, updated protocols for managing this rare blood disease. So I think it is uh, a cornerstone. In the Middle East this is the high incidence of inherited blood disease. Uh, these conferences will talk about this disease transmitting the experience between all hospitals, between, even between physicians. This will give us a plan, strategy to fight all this disease. Through dynamic lectures, case-based studies, and hands-on discussions, the conference proves to be specialized, scientific, and educational, designed to create awareness, provide practical tips and new updates, and share exciting developments in the clinical management of pediatric blood disorders. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Rashid Al Zayani, patronized the 31st edition of the Autumn Fair at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. More in this report. The 31st edition of the Autumn Fair kicked off today under the patronage of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Al Zayani. The fair is one of the largest in Bahrain, which features over 650 stalls from 16 countries, thousands of potential bargains, and a street food market. The exhibition in general is very important, uh, or very important uh, event, uh, uh, leading to uh, to um, promoting of businesses. Uh, I mean, here t today we have a 650 uh, businesses under one roof. Um, we usually get uh, something like 140,000 uh, attendees to, uh, to, the, to this exhibition, and especially last year. We think this year it will be much more than that. Um, of course, um, this is a way of promoting businesses, either locally, and there are a good number of local businesses are uh, here in, in the, under this roof of the exhibitions. Um, of course, uh, the, uh, the, uh, this exhibition, Atom, uh, Atom Fair exhibition, uh, tackle the mentality of, uh, of uh, the consumer. So the, all the varieties of products are in, in, uh, in the same place. So that's why they put in their agenda. A huge variety of goods will go on sale at the 15,400 square meter extravaganza, including specialty food, fashion, beauty, home decor technology, toys and textiles. Hawaj group, we are participating in this exhibition since the beginning. 
and we grow with it because also at the beginning, I mean, it was a bit smaller, the more uh, the uh, exhibition, it become big now. And Alhamdulillah, uh, I'm so proud that Al Hawaj can participate with this exhibition uh, uh, because we want to support it because it is very good for Bahrain and very good for the tourists, you know, because we receive a lot of tourists uh, during this nearly nine to 10 days, you know, this exhibition. It become like a festival for Bahrain, you know, because people, they like to come to see either it is local people or people from Saudi or from our neighboring countries. They come to, uh, to this exhibition. Uh, we are so uh, proud about it. And this is good for Bahrain and good for the economy of Bahrain. Yes, uh, here I'm coming to Bahrain exhibition uh, for uh, the first time my brand uh, I put here in uh, Al Bahrain. Uh, now I went open market in Al Bahrain uh, for my brand. Uh, my brand is uh, the perfume from Euro, uh, the factory in Dubai. The fair will go on until the 31st of January and is expected to attract a large number of visitors. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Sahar Taha. The Education and Training Quality Authority, in partnership with Temkin, held a forum on public administration of the National Framework for National Qualifications and Exams in the presence of the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Al Muayyad, and with the participation of more than 100 specialists. The Minister highlighted that Bahrain took leading steps in the field of achieving sustainable development as well as developing the education sector. He added that the government believes that education is the way to achieving comprehensive development. He praised the care and keenness of Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa to develop the education march of the kingdom and come up with initiatives in the training and education fields. The CEO of the Education and Training Quality Authority, Dawahar Al Mudhaki, affirmed her keenness to elevate the quality of education and stressed the authority's efforts to contribute positively to the education sector. The Kingdom of Bahrain has been witnessing from the early morning hours of a state of weather instability as it rained in various parts of the kingdom, which were uneven and sometimes accompanied by thunder. The meteorological department has stated that the weather will be relatively cold and cloudy with occasional thunderstorms. Then it turns into partial cloudy during the night, warning of strong winds and thunderstorms, calling for taking precaution.